So my name's Marcel Lee, and I am a adjunct professor here at uh, Anne Arundel Community College in the cyber program. I teach uh, uh, CSI 165, which is uh, network security something yeah. fundamentals. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I, never, I remember the numbers and not the names. And uh, I also teach um, uh, forensics sometimes, and um, I love all things cyber. But I especially love packets, and that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about. So who here has used Wireshark before? Anybody? <laughs> Jason has. And you have? Cool. Cool. And I know Mark has, even though he's not admitting it. And you have too? Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. Are you in high school? I am. Okay, cool. Um, so, Wireshark is a very awesome open source, in other words, free tool that anybody can download. It's a network protocol analyzer. Um, but it does so much more than that. So you can use it in terms of just like troubleshooting your network, but you can also use it um, as a forensic artifact, basically. So if you have uh, some sort of intrusion and you were capturing those packets, you could go back and, and figure out maybe what happened, right? This is, this is basically a demonstration of why you don't want to do things on unsecured networks in a public Wi-Fi environment, okay? So if you're at Starbucks and you're surfing on your laptop to, I don't know, somebody give me a site that's not secure, I don't know, anything? <laughs> um, Pandora is one, that's not a secure site. And uh, so if you enter your credentials or your username and password, on, say, Pandora, for example, do you think that other people can see that? Absolutely. So someone could be sniffing your traffic, as we like to call it, in uh, the public Wi-Fi environment and capturing data that you're typing. So this may look like Greek. <laughs> Probably definitely looks like Greek. But um, basically, all these little lines are, are packets that have been captured. And packets are just, in a very fundamental level, like how data gets from you know, your computer to Google's web server or wherever it's going. Um, so in this case, it's a telnet session. And telnet is just another way to communicate, like a client-server environment. Um, telnet is, what do you guys think, secure or not secure? Any guesses? <laughs> Jason's in the back like, no. It is not secure. So. This is like a quick and easy thing that will show you how insecure it really is. Um, Wireshark has a lot of really cool filtering features and things like that. This is a super easy one that I could show you. So I just basically analyzed that stream of traffic. And let me go back for a second on that. So down here in this bottom pane, you'll see this funkiness here and some more funkiness there. This is all hexadecimal, which is a, a base 16 numbering system. Um, and then over here is the ASCII converted uh, representation of that hex. And this is basically human readable, even though it doesn't look like much there. But what we just did in that other little window was pull out the human readable part of this from all those streams, and it just puts it in a nice little package for you, right? So what's the first thing that we see up there? Well, yeah, it says login, and the login name is fake, and then the password is user, fake user. So basically, just like that, we're able to pull those credentials out of a network stream. So it's kind of freaky, a little scary, right? Who's going to make sure they're on encrypted websites all the time from now on? Me. Except for Pandora. So why do you think a website would not be encrypted? Any ideas about that? It's going to slow down that traffic. And if you're trying to listen to your favorite music on Pandora, do you want it to be adding that layer of encryption and slowing everything down? Nah, you don't. And it's kind of unnecessary. However, I have discovered that they treat their, as I've mentioned before, login credentials the same way. I haven't found any secure part of that site yet, so beware if you use Pandora. 
So FTP is also not a secure protocol. It's another file transfer. Well, that's what it stands for, right? File transfer protocol. And you can see everything in, in plain text. So this one, I don't even have to like drill down. I can see right there, like on the fourth line, with the, uh, or fifth line, whatever it is, the user credentials. So it's C Sanders and Echo. And then basically whatever data they're transmitting, I can pull that out too. So it's pretty, um, pretty interesting. So if you just looked at this, can you tell me what was being transferred? I know it's a little small, but yeah, exactly. It's an MP3. They downloaded some music. So do you think I could pull that MP3 out of the traffic, like magic? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and look, what do we see up here? Which is kind of small, but it's a MP4 file. That sounds like an audio file, doesn't it? OK, so doing nothing more than just looking, you know, capturing this traffic, I'm going to uh, do a save as. And I'm just going to throw it on the desktop. So those are some cool things that you can do. You can see what's going on in traffic. You can pull things out of traffic. So let's look at another example. This top layer, which is a physical layer, this is like the data on the wire, basically. So as it flows to your computer, the actual media. And then Ethernet, this is sort of like the I guess I would say the switching layer. So at the, at the switch level, or the switch layer, or the um, MAC layer, I guess you call it, um, you're dealing with MAC addresses, which are how devices are identified, right? So if I see a number like this, then I know that those are MAC addresses, which is how data communicates like within your network. And then if you want to drill a little further down, go to the network layer. And this is where, this is sort of the router level, and this is where it's telling you the source and destination IP addresses, right? So now it's out of your network. And then transport layer. So this is where you're seeing your ports and your protocols. So this traffic, we can see it's HTTP port 80, which we know is what? Anybody know what that is? I know somebody knows besides Jason and Mark. <laughs> so it's just internet, right? It's just basic browsing. Um, if it was HTTPS, then that would be secure, absolutely. And that is, runs on port 443. Um, what else? Oh, and then this, this destination port. So this is a packet that's coming back into your network after you send it out for an internet thing. And that's just a random, like, high-numbered port. It doesn't really necessarily mean anything in terms of identifying a service. And then you can also get information about the type of packet. Like, it drills down into, um, like, this one has a, uh, a fin and a push and an ack, which is sort of interesting, actually. Do, 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 do. And then here we are actually at the HTTP part, right? So, so this is the information about that, that web server that we went to, basically. So it's telling us it's Apache. Does anybody know if it's Apache? The, what does that tell us? Yeah, it's Linux. Very good. Um, and I don't know. All that stuff means other things, but I'm not an expert on HTTP headers. And then down here at the bottom is the actual media, the data that was getting transferred. So there's that MP4 that we, we pulled out, basically. So like I said, this is a great way to visualize and see what's happening at each layer of, uh, of the communications.